Good morning, Denise Dryden here. Doing my weekly video on, on the energy, on the relationship, on what's going on inside. <laughs> what are we doing? How do we handle all of this? And today I wanna to talk about how to integrate new information. What happens when new, new information comes along to us, right? And we're like, what am I supposed to do with that? Or that rocks my entire world and I'm not sure that I wanna deal with that. I'm not sure I know how to deal with that, right? <laughs> so when something presents itself, you know, we see it and we feel it and we read it and then we have to physically address it in so many cases. So. Um, usually what I like to do is, is go base, go to the basic dictionary and look up things like information and it's just simply data. I remember, you know, through therapeutic programs, whenever something would come up, you'd go, well, there's some more information. That's it. It's just data that we have to process and organize and structure that informs the rest of our system as to, well, what do we do now? And so the system could be you, your body. The system could be your family system. The system could be your extended family. It could be your community where you work. It could be a lot of different things. But when something new comes in, it means like eh, we have to process. What does that mean? What do we, how are we going to organize this? How are we going to apply it towards? And then, you know, how are we going to communicate what it is that we're going to do with this new information? And I was listening to Santero last night. Um, she was doing a Pisces reading, Pisces reading, and she said that imagination helps us address information. Because what we can do is use our imagination and say, so what do I do with this? And then play with it a little bit and see if there's, if there are ways, right, to address this. Because it can be disorienting and sometimes, our, you know, the first thing that happens when something new comes at us is our emotions go up. We go into anger, worry, fear, joy, you know, <laughs> think about it. What emotions come up when somebody surprises you with something? So, you know, let's just start with some really basic concepts of what something new might be. Like, uh, it's going to rain t today. I didn't count on it raining. Ooh, what does that mean for some of this fall stuff or summer stuff that's still out? What do I do with my paddleboard? You know, if you have a boat out in the dock, do you bring, start bringing the boat in? Is this the beginning of the rainy season? You know, it's kind of like, oh, new information. Rain's coming. Um, you're driving and the, and the engine light goes on in your car. And all of a sudden, everything goes into what's wrong with my car. I wonder why the, the light went on. And you start to process everything, right? <laughs> Um, you get a job offer or a promotion that's different than what you thought you were doing um, from somebody else or within another department of where you work or or even you're let go. Something that happens, you go, huh, that's so interesting. I wonder what that's about. Um, you know, let's say you're, you find yourself pregnant, you know, um, or the family's been trying but sort of gave up hope and then all of a sudden there's a there's a pregnancy it's sort of like okay we're going to be in the expansion mode we're going to change things you know what's when you discover something new right and 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 what happens then is that we are called to initiate all of our intelligences around that so that we take action like i have to do something about this i have to in in some of that time action can just simply be acceptance which is okay all my energy is now honed in on, I'm going to make this okay. This is going to work for me. What do I do now? Um, expand and include, which is nothing, what, what could be the worst that happens, right? And the other part of um, integration in new information is that you get to choose. Huh, what am I going to do with this? Because when we integrate, we absorb, we, abs we, we accept, we adapt, we include, we allow and so all of that has to happen with your existing system right so i'm sitting here holding on to this carnelian stone which is about compassion and so i uh, you know when i'm doing my call uh my my family calls when i'm when i'm coaching i often hold carnelian when i have to remember this is really hard for them they're integrating new information new um pieces so that they have to reform what um, what existed and blended into the existing system, right? So in order to integrate, we have to open up. We have to sort of let go and go, uh, can't really prevent this, stop this, because it's part of what's happening to me and the people that I'm involved with. And to accept 
and allow the information to come in. So new information has to be sort of opened up to, accepted and allowed. And we also have to let go of some of our preconceived rigidity, our preconceived ideas, because you know it's almost impossible to take on something new and integrate it when you're solidly blocked. Like, no, 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 no. So I'll give you a couple of examples. Um, I've been working with this 16 year old who is uh, uh, almost 17, gonna be a junior, is a junior in high school. And she's had two best friends for her entire life, you know, kindergarten on. And, and the way she said it was, um, I always knew that these two friends would be the sort of the, all I needed in life. They're my best friends and this is how I foresee going through high school and they'll always be there. And over the last year and a half, first one moved away, Dad got a relocation, second one moved away, and now she's in this situation where she doesn't have any best friends, and she's trying to figure out like, oh, everything changed really fast. I thought it didn't, wasn't gonna affect me, but it's affecting everything. So now she has to integrate this new concept of, I may need to learn how to go out and get another friend or two, right? Second example was, let, uh, let's say that you decide that it's time to do something with weight or health, right? And <clears throat> so you do the research and you find out, oh, you know, there's, I, I need to, to change into some more anti-inflammatory foods. I need to eat less. I need to eat more greens, you know, blah, 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 whatever it is, diet, health, whatnot. But you live in a relationship system with either a partner or a family or, or both, right? <laughs> and it's going to affect all of them so when you integrate a new concept it has to be um or when you when you get some new information and integrate it it is going to affect the entire system it makes sense right so let's go one step further and push ourselves a little bit with this idea that what happens when you get new information that is deceptive or it's a cover-up and you're like oh no I've built my entire world around this concept and now this new one is coming up that's showing me that everything I built it on may not be true. Sometimes it's like you find out that you've got a team that's using and it's getting in the way of everything for them, right? Or you find out that your partner spouse is involved with someone. You know, you don't know what that is yet, but they're distracted. Or you start hearing things on the news that sort of hit some core in you like, oh no, what if that's true? So you have to gather new information, right? And you have to start that process of integrating, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? So we go into action, we expand and we include, and then we have to choose because really integration is a two-part system um, that's really important to understand. First, you have to self-advocate, advocate for yourself right? You have to self-advocate, which is I, this is how I feel. This is what I know. This is what my, what my boundaries are. This is what I hold to be sovereign. And I'm in a system that is tangled right now. So how do I hold myself? So number two is that this system is tangled. It's, um, it's got knots. It's got tension in it. Something's not working. So the first is you hold your boundaries. The second is then you go after the untangling and accepting and redefining and integrating all of this new information. Makes sense, right? That, that it, it begins with you and, it, and you're the one who works this system through. Because when we take on new information, it's a lot of work. It takes a lot to sort of manage yourself and start to loosen up and hold on to all of these pieces that are up in the air thinking, this is gonna change everything and changing everything can be exhausting. It can also be exhilarating. I'm one of those who kind of likes the exhilaration of change. And I also understand that it can be overwhelming. And since we're going to explore and sort and process and organize and recreate, these are all really, really powerful skills that make sense to have. And that's what I've been talking about for the last two years is how do you explore? How do you know how to sort and discern? How do you know how to process information? How do you recreate things when they don't work? So I was listening to two women on YouTube talking about both galactic and global expansion um, throughout time and and the thing that they brought up and it just sort of you know was doing walking around the house doing stuff listening to them 
And I heard this this line and I went, oh, that makes the most amount of sense, which sort of prompted the, the discussion for today, which is, you know, the most balanced and successful cultures and systems integrate new things into it with discernment, right? Or with, um, with empowerment, with intention, right? So whatever they encounter or conquer or expand into, they welcome and adapt and creatively include and accept and grow together. So when we integrate, we are blending the best of you and the best of me and the best of these ideas of people who I didn't know didn't like maybe their religion, maybe their politics, maybe their race. I, it doesn't really matter. And you go, hey, I have to get curious about you over here and learn how to, to include you into this new world of ours. Because, you know, it's no accident that the United States is a melting pot of completely different kinds of people who live together in neighborhoods and, and built an American culture. So I have six tips for you on how to integrate and I thought I'd walk you through those. So hang tight through the rest of this video and let's go through these tips. Um, the first one, of course, is gonna be self-knowledge. The more I know myself, this is my fundamental skill. The more I know myself, the more I can stretch. The more I know myself, I know where my edges are. I know what happens when something comes up. And then, and then it's not a surprise. So that's the first thing is self-knowledge. Makes sense, right? I'm shifting, I'm, a little I'm shaking the camera too, huh? Uh, number two, um, get to know your emotional responses. When something comes up, someone says, hey, mom, I gotta tell you something, or uh, by the way, uh, this just happened. You know, watch what happens with your emotional um, responses. You know, what do you lead with first? You know, if you're overwhelmed and stressed, it makes sense that you're gonna lead with frustration and anger. If you've been in your head, you know, trying to put pieces together and someone adds another piece, you could start to, oh wow, that was really sad. Um, start to go into a stage of worry, right? Absolute worry. And the other one is that if it's something fun and new and exciting, you know, it's kind of like, uh, and the excitement can sort of lead it, right? So that's the second thing, is to pay attention to what happens with the emotional pieces um, when they come up. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get angry, get used to that. And then after I calm the anger down, then I start to become a really good problem solver. You know, know yourself, right? Number three, collect information. You know, it's I, I, the way I do that is sort of go, well, if I have this, and I have this, and I have this, then I can spread it out and I can ponder it and I can move around it until I get used to it. So start to collect. Rather than refuse, start to collect so that you can be neutral and you can be stable and you can be non-reactive because what you're really doing is you're orienting yourself to this new information so that you have a way of dealing with it, right? It's like you were disoriented, now you need to orient. So number three, you collect information and you spread it out. Number four, um, go at your own pace. Some of us get overwhelmed, right? And some of us go into avoidance or procrastination. Some of us jump in and experience, which is action. Um, know what you need to do and know what your own pace is. And I think the key word here is pace because pace is movement. It's momentum, it's moving, it's forward movement. So. You know, know what, what you have to do to move forward, not stop and freeze. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Um, let's see, uh, number five would be the um, address your edges. Know where you get stuck. Know where you're gonna come right straight up on somebody. Like, I know that I'm pretty tolerant with uh, almost every kind of human in whatever they're going through on a therapeutic area. Uh, th therapeutic. Um, uh, process right or an emotional process or their or their or their they're in that vulnerability place but when they start getting rigid in and going to politics or going into their belief systems I kind of like push them back a little bit so I know where my edges are right so where are you rigid and why where do you have expectations and control where do you allow and when can you not because like yoga, what we do is we go up to those edges and then we breathe through them 
until they relax a little bit more and then we stretch a bit more. So yoga is a really good example of how to integrate into new positions, to take some of that old energy out and look at where you get stuck. And the most important thing is that you have a knowledge of where you get stuck, right? And number six, to let yourself create something new and expand it, sort of surprise yourself, really. Really like let the information in, let go of the fight or, or the blocking or the resistance and allow something new to come in. Because what we know is that if your hands are full of something and you don't have any room for something new, then you're, you're kind of stuck in life can get kind of boring. But if you put some things down and you have an open receptive, which is the feminine energy, receptivity, responsiveness, then when something comes in, you can create something new. So what we're doing is we're learning how to expand and create a new perspective, new world, all at the same time as we're learning how to integrate, as we're learning how to take on new information. So um, I will close with this beautiful example that um, Whitefish Montana just had the Rocky Mountain Regional Songwriters Festival. And there were 24 um, up and coming song songwriters who would, you know, put themselves on a chair, on, on like four chairs in front of an audience and sort of challenge each other. Like, let's, I'm going to go down deep into a, a really emotional story that I've written. Or, you know, this is what happened. And, and it was really interesting to watch how one would do a great song and the second one would match it and the third one would be squirming going, oh man, you aren't going to make me sing this song, are you? And then they would sing it with such vulnerability, such courage. Or, you know, they would just put themselves out there and then the whole room would just go boom and change. And, you know, it was also interesting to watch some that couldn't do that or that tried and couldn't access that part. So I think this is a growing edge for all of us, that we're learning how to bring new information in, to take ourselves into something that we haven't been before, into an area, um, a decision-making, a group, a, a piece of history that we haven't known before, and then to, to absorb that, integrate it in, and let that be our new normal. So these are the kinds of things that I do. I'm an integrational coach. I work with changes, I work with systems, um, family systems, internal systems, and what happens when new information comes in and we have to do something about that. You can find me on denisestriden.com and um, I will see you next Sunday. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.